the grenade is a very good abbreviation or like the mnemonics for you to remember. So the G is the gender bias, you know, like are the findings or conclusion or results focused on any particular specific gender. Um, can researcher generalize the result findings or conclusions to both males and females? These kind of concern. With the R, mm -hmm. yeah, basically because we want to be able to apply for, you know, both genders. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then with the R is reductionism versus the holism. So, with the reductionism and the holisms in terms of the questions that is pretty much a debate basically comes to like is the behavior explains in terms of like our nerves neurons hormones or genes influence that and forecast our future this is the questions in terms of like the biological reductionisms if it's holism or like the holistic approach um it would ask more towards the environmental re um, reductionism as in like the behavior explained in terms of like stimulus response that's also reductionism in terms of the biological and environmental responses mm -hmm. if it's the holism holistic approach it asks for like the bigger picture because it's like whole, right, as a whole. So is the behavior explained in terms of the whole experience rather than individual features or genetics? So when it's reductionism, like reduction, it focused on like one thing, like one small thing could be the genetic factors, environmental factors. But if it's a holism, it looks at like various aspects um, in terms of like the social, culture, experiences, et cetera, et cetera. And then with E is um, ethical issue and also social sensitivity. So with the ethics, the questions comes um, concerns with the privacy, confidentiality, the valid and methodology, deceptions, informed consent, equitable treatment, um, scientific freedom, ownership of the data, values and lastly risks and benefits ratio. In a sense, like that's the research studies have direct social consequences for the participants or group that they represent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is uh, an, an example for the social sensitive questions. And then with the end, nature versus nurture. For the nature approach, people would ask in terms of like, is the behavior the product of innate biological factors? In contrast, if it's nurture, is the behavior of the product of environmental factors. Um, there are also an inter uh, interactionist approach where they ask, for example, does the theory take into account both sides of the debate? So on and so forth. Okay. Mm -hmm. For the A, A is, is approach. In approach as in, is it ideographic or nomothetic? If it's ideographic approach, it would ask a question, something as like, does the theory favor qualitative method in research? If it's um, nomothetic approach, it would ask something like, does the theory favor the quantitative um, statistical techniques or approach? With the determinism, with the D, determinism and free view, um, there are several approaches with that. Okay, for the free view, first of all, it would ask something like, is the behavior the result of an individual own choice? However, um, with the determinism, we can divide into biological, environmental, and psychic determinism. So for the biological determinism, would concern with that is the behavior the product of genetic influences additionally for the environmental one 
is the behavior the products of the previous learning, whether it's classical or operant or conditioning. Mm. And lastly, for the psychic, is the behavior result of the innate um, drives and early experiences. For the E, the last E is ethnocentrism, or we also call the cultural bias. So questions concerning the ethnocentrism would be like, is the behavior being judged in terms of our own ethics of cultural groups? There are also uh, an approach called a cultural relativism, where it concerns whether is the behavior being viewed within the context of the cultural in which it originates. So these are the criteria of the issues and debates that you have to take in account.